in this video i'm going to show you how you can achieve this leg down the big ponytail look on a long for see the last hair Okay, to start off with this video, I'm going to go in, in with my daily living strength. Now, this serves as a daily defense against breakage. I just washed my hair before going in with this hair tutorial because it's much more advisable for you to wash your hair because you don't want to be having build up of dirt and gems and previous hair products and oils onto your hair when going in with this. Just clogs your hair up and just makes you apply more product than you need. So this product here is supposed to help me reduce breakage because of my hair is currently very dry and the fact that I'm going to go in with a lot of combing and manipulation on this look with this look rather I just want to apply this product so that I'll reduce hair breakage and I'll reduce its ends okay because if you're going to be combing your hair when your hair is obviously dry and not moisturized the excess combing can lead to split ends and breakage of your hair so applying this from the tip of my hair to the root of my hair and also combing it gently to ensure that all the products have gone into every section of my hair which just helps to give me back that moisture and rejuvenate my hair back into that face that just feels right for manipulation okay so after ensuring that my hair has gotten the moisture that it needs i'm going to start sectioning my hair row by row so also go back in your applying this product because when you want to achieve this sleek ponytail look you don't have to go in once and for all because if you want it to be as thick as you want it to be you have to work in little by little to get that slickness because if you just dive right into just putting your hair all at once some parts will be puffy some parts will be slick and you might end up going with more product in the wrong places to partition my hair i make use of my right tail comb and you have to be careful when partitioning your hair yes i understand that we have gone in with the daily living strength not to avoid breakage but this is one mistake that i see a lot of us make here always struggling with your hair when you want to partition your hair and that's not how it's meant to be i always tell you on this channel that you have to take care of your hair the way you want someone to take care of you so you have to be gentle with your hair don't just go in with the right tail comb or with the cutting comb and start tugging onto your hair your hair is as fragile as you are so you want to take your time and partition your hair and as well ensure that you do not injure yourself Okay, so after applying it, I'm going to go on with my small comb and detangle my hair before applying my got to be hair wax. This is what I ensure to use every time I want to get this thick ponytail look on my hair every single time. So I apply it onto the root of my hair and then go in with my brittle brush to ensure that I have brushed the wax into my hair. If you do not have this brittle brush, then you are not ready to achieve this slick down fluffy ponytail look because even though you have a natural hair or you have a relaxed hair this beauty brush is very, very essential if you have a fussy hair because fussy hairs are always very very hard to manipulate and to slick down so applying your wax or your hair gel and then going in with a very hard there are a lot of brushes but ensure that you have the very hard beauty brushes to brush your hair in place so now that we are at this section of my hair i like to take my time because in this part of my hair that i notice that i tend to have puffiness but i don't take my time with it so i'm going in with the mega mode daily living conditioner again because i want to get into those areas that i might have missed when i was applying it initially and then when i apply it then i use my hair wax then brush it with my brush okay so now that we are at the front section of my hair you do not want to wash this part if you have been trying to get this slick low bone ponytail style or you are used to putting your hair in your bone you will notice that i don't know if you're like me though that my hair is not of equal length so if i tend to rush this front side i tend to have flyovers at the middle of the week and i tend to see that some parts will be puffy some parts will not be as slick as the back so you want to take your time with this guy, I know at this point here, yeah, your arms are tired, they're killing you, but you do not want to wash this part for anything at all. So I'm going in with much more mega goods than I applied at the back because this side is where I have most of my issues because it's 
shorter in length than the many parts of my hair yeah so i'm going in with it then apply my hair wax then after i apply my hair wax i ensure that it is properly detangled you have to ensure that your hair is very detangled because you're not having some tangles when you're trying to stick your hair down with the brush so going in with the hair wax properly because i want to slick everything down but try not to go in with too much hair gel or too much wax because it's going to need to build up and dandruff if that makes sense so now i'm going to go in my brittle brush and i am taking my time i did my best while editing this part not to avoid or skip too many parts of it to show you that how many times I actually went on with this so partition it into different sections or oh, those are the front i like to take my time and section it out so that i can take small sections of hair and ensure that it's slick before going in the center of my hair if that makes sense to be very honest i'm trying to go in for a new style but i'm like you know what not today let me just stick to what i know works for me maybe and that's my friend and that new style of parting but i'm going to stick my regular regular center passing so after i apply my hair wax i'm going to go in with my brittle brush once again and brush the life out of that hair it has to be sleek or nothing so after sectionizing it and applying my mega goods applying my wax and brushing it i'm now going to go into the center of my hair and if you think you know the center of your head, this is where you're going to struggle a lot because tell me why I was struggling to find the middle of my head and I had to go in for my nose to find the middle of my hair, but that's that about that. And as you can see, the fact that I went in section by section made it very easy for me to get that. We are trying to actually with our ponytail look today. So I seen how slick it is already. As you mean I went in straight in and I did not scrutinize my hair, it won't be as slick as that. So I know that at this point you're very tired, but you have to do all you have to do to ensure that it's done properly. You don't want to have a very nice beginning at the back and then the front where most people see when I'm looking so messed up and not as slick as you would like it to be. So I'm going to my rat too because I want to ensure that that part of my hair is tangle free and I'm not having any bumps and humps on the center of my hair and then I'm going back with my beauty brush are you guys seeing how slick my hair is? this is what your hair should look like if you follow these actual steps correctly this is what you should be having right now in your hair you should be able to mold the shape of your head at this point after ensuring that my hair is tangle free i'm going in with my hair packer i like to use this kind of hair packer because it buys an actual elastic rubber band it tends to cut my hair and please we are going for anti-breakage this year so try not to forget to brush the other sides of your hair that you're not seeing that is underneath your hair and the side behind your ear so i'm putting my hair in the bun and this is where i want my hair to be located you can put your that middle of your head or add like actual low bun or lower than where mine is at the moment but this is where i want mine to be so i can touch it my shoulders but whether it's close so after braiding the parts that are left out i'm just going to be rolling this and just tying it around my hair and putting it into my hair you can go with the bubble pin in case you want to secure it even further but i don't really like too much pins on my hair so going in with my edge brush i'm just going to just slick down the parts that are like behind my ear and underneath where my bone is located because it's not having a slick bone or a slick down fluffy ponytail look and those areas are just looking very very tattered and uncatered for so going back on my beauty brush to ensure that i don't have any flyovers and everything still looking as slick as possible and now it's time to attempt to do some very minimalistic baby hairs i try to keep them minimalistic but you guys comment below if one part of your hair is really very cooperative trying to give it the nice baby hair that you want and that part of your hair is looking like it's the weapon fashion against you because tell me why this part of my hair was so nice to do but this actual section i went over it like more than five times i'm not even like i didn't even give me the same thing that was getting on the right side of my hair so once i was done fighting for my baby hairs i'm going in with my above hair mousse so instead of using this hair mousse there are times where i use it got to be glue spray but since i already went in with the water i don't have too much got to be on my hair because that gets actually very very intense so using the hair mousse gives me the same results and with this guy there's no flyover that's going to be popping on my hair and my hair will not still feel like it's still as hard as the effect that got to be will give me so after applying this generous blend to my hair i'm going in with my cute pink aztec scarf to just secure all of this on my hair you can tie this for 
12 hours but let's do for like one hour and this is what we are looking like guys i'm about to head out and now this is what my hair is looking like i love this and on a normal day without the ponytail i could go out like this but this is what i was using for this actual look it has two combs that i love because it helps me just secure the actual ponytail into my hair and it has a drawstring that I can just adjust as well to give you much more security because they are still in hairs right now in the streets, guys. So you want to secure your hair as much as possible. I also use the excess drawstrings to just tie around my hair like a shoelace so that it stays in that actual position and does not move when I'm going about my day. And to also secure my hair even further, I take a bit of the ponytail itself and just wrap it around my hair in case some areas that are showing the actual connection burn between my hair and the ponytail. I still look like I see actually my hair from the beginning to the end. Onto that same part of my baby hair that was giving me struggles, I just could not let it sit and look like that. So I had to just go back and ensure that it looks a bit similar to the other one and that looking like cousins, not actual stress. So this is the final look and this is what we are looking like. This entire look just took me about one hour because I had to do my makeup as well. But on normal day, like 15 minutes, I'm done. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I love you so much. And watch this next video on the screen right now. Bye.